hi everyone welcome back i hope you're doing well and i also want to wish you a happy new year ahead um, i'm just going to show you how i make my sea moss black soap wash this is just amazing for both your hair your skin um, it's packed with natural um, vitamins and fatty acids um, that are just amazing to use and it's also very moisturizing um, I'm going to show you my process step by step how I make this so let's jump right in and if this is your first time stopping by my name is Esther and I make DIY um, hair and skincare videos and I also sell my products on my website and I also have some online um, skincare formulating courses I'll have everything linked in the description box so let's jump right in I'm going to get started weighing out my ingredients and I'll have the entire formula in the description box um, along with links to where I purchased my ingredients from. Um, so I'm getting started with African black soap. Um, if you've never seen African black soap or heard of African black soap, um, this is what it looks like. Um, it's a, a brownish um, um, color appearance. Um, it has so many amazing benefits, um, antibacterial, anti-inflammatory. Um, you want to cut it up into small pieces, pro probably smaller than I have here. Um, and then I'm going to add some um, hot distilled water to try to melt it down. Um, you can also use the African black soap liquid or powder as well. Um, so I'm just going to cover the uh, black soap and i'm going to kind of mix it up a little bit to try to get everything to blend in with the water it's going to um, stick together um, but just do your best to mix it up and i'm going to let this um, i'm going to set this aside and just let it um, dissolve completely this takes a while um, so you really want to cut it up as small as you can um, so i'm just going to cover this up and just let it dissolve So I left my um, black soap until the next day and this is what it's looking like. Um, so what I like to do, I like to strain my black soap mixture. Um, so black soap is made with roasted plantain skin and sometimes you can have the plantain ash like little um, black particles. So I like to strain mine. That is the way I like to do mine. You don't have to strain yours um, but I don't like the particles left behind. Um, so that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to get my um, strainer. I use a fine mesh strainer. Then I also use a cheesecloth. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. And I'm going to strain the mixture. After straining my mixture, I had some black soap uh, particles left. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to weigh out my black soap um, liquid now. Um, so that way I can replace any water that was lost. Um, so I'm going to weigh this out. So basically in this formula, I had 168 grams of African black soap. And then distilled water, I had 246.4 grams of um, distilled water. So I'm just checking to make sure that I still have that um, weighted amount. I hope I don't confuse anyone. So that's what I'm doing here. So I'm replacing that water loss. I'm going to add in some castor oil. This is very moisturizing um, on your hair and your skin. Um, I'm also using um, tea tree essential oil as well as peppermint essential oil. You are welcome to skip those oils if you're sensitive to essential oils. 
Um, to get these oils to mix into this wash, I'm going to use a uh, solubilizer um, emulsifier um, called Poly Sugar Moss D9. This is going to help blend these oils into this wash. You can also use uh, sunflower lecithin, uh, polysorbate 20 or polysorbate 80. So I'm just going to mix everything to help blend these oils together. I'm adding some apple cider vinegar. This is amazing for your skin and hair because of the anti-inflammatory benefits. Um, to this, I'm going to add in my sea moss powder. So sea moss is packed with so many vitamins and fatty acids. It hydrates your skin. It's um, good for both your hair, scalp health, and much more. Um, but I'm just going to mix this in. Um, the reason I added this into the apple cider vinegar is to, instead of my black soap um, directly was just to reduce the amount of mixing um, to help this powder dissolve. So that's why I added it into the apple cider vinegar. Um, I'm going to also add in some honey powder. So honey has antiseptic uh, properties, hydrating benefits, um, so I'm just going to mix everything till it's all dissolved. Um, once everything is dissolved, then I'll add it into my black soap liquid. I'm going to add in a preservative, um, Luicidal SF Complete. I have two preservative videos I'll leave linked in the description box. Um, there's so many debates about black soap and preservatives. Um, black soap has a high pH. Um, it can go as high as 10 or more. Um, so many people say don't add a preservative because it is self-preserving. So do your own research on preservatives and do what works best for you. Um, but I'm going to add in my gua gum and glycerin mixture and just mix that carefully. Um, gua gum does take a while to hydrate and thicken up um, but I usually like to leave mine um, um, for some time and then it thickens up even more. So this is what the consistency is starting to look like. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and check the pH. So just keep in mind that this is going to thicken up within 24 hours. Um, so I weighed out a small amount of mixture, added in some uh, distilled water, mixed that in, and then I used my uh, pH meter to take the reading. Um, so the initial reading was at 9.21. Um, you want to keep in mind that apple cider vinegar also lowers the pH um, of your products. Um, so what I did, I added in about 8 to 9 drops of my 50% uh, citric acid solution. Mix that in and then let it sit for about a minute. And then I took the reading a second time. I weighed out some of my uh, black soap liquid, added in some distilled water, gave that a mix and then took the reading a second time and the final reading was at 8.99. I like to not mess with the pH of black soap too much because it is a soap so it's meant to be alkaline so higher in pH. If you add too much citric acid solution your black soap can fall apart and it will lose its ability to cleanse your skin or wash your hair properly so although the ph of your skin and hair is between 4.5 to 5.5 black soap tends to be a bit more stripping on your skin and hair so um, i personally do not use this every day um, for my hair care routine i use it once a week or once every two weeks so you have to find what works uh, best for you when you're using a product either for the first time or in your routine. 
um, so I'm just going to package this up but I'm going to show you how it lathers um, and also um, how it washes and foams in your hair as well um, but black soap is really amazing it has so many amazing benefits um, for me personally um, I have scalp psoriasis so this is about the only um, wash that really calms my hair my scalp um, it's very very soothing um, so the consistency will thicken up like I said um, even more within the next 24 hours I hope you found my process for making this black soap wash helpful useful please don't forget to uh, subscribe if you haven't um, done so already and don't forget to turn on your notifications um, so you don't miss any new videos i upload and please like this video as well um, because that really helps me out and i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye